What's up, wrestling fans? Bunch of news. Road Dog. Page. Let's start with the, uh, well, let's start with the uh, Kurt Angle story. Well, this is just a real quick deal. Uh, basically, former TNA knockout, uh, Raka Khan, um, she's getting some fire right now, getting some attention on social media because she's been making all these comments about Kurt Angle. I don't know if it's because he's on Monday Night Raw now and stuff, but she's talking about him like stealing money from her and all kinds of other craziness. And uh, so, yeah, so that's going on. I really won't go into that too much. I don't care that much. Whatever. She could have brought this up whenever ago. Uh, apparently, Paige's, Paige's warrant story is just all over the place. Like, the story is just... Uh, it's blown out of proportion. It's right. It's wrong. Um, story going around that the arrest warrant issued for WWE wrestler Paige on battery charges is false. The state attorney's office... Um, is saying and apparently that there was a fake news story claiming that there was an arrest warrant for and everybody was talking about this I just don't know where this started where this false rumor that Paige was apparently going to be arrested started um, but they oh actually they might answer it right here it says the person who started the fake Fake Wix site is a known troll that will often send us fake news tips. He recently sent fake tip that Brock Lesnar was added to the WWE live event in September in Honolulu, which we never posted, but some other sites picked up. Wow, so there's some guy just trolling everybody out there. Damn. I wonder who that is. <laughs> Dude's making Wix sites like it's wrestling news. It's probably that uh, Kita site. They suck. They're fake with so much stuff. Um, there's a new match confirmed for WWE TakeOver Brooklyn. Um, it was confirmed uh, tonight. You guys, maybe a lot of you saw NXT. Maybe you guys aren't watching NXT till tomorrow or the next week or you missed it. Or are you not watching it? Whatever the case is. Um, Asuka will defend her title against em uh, Ember Moon at TakeOver in Brooklyn. So Ember Moon will make her way back to the NXT roster and in time to face Asuka at TakeOver Brooklyn, which will be great. Last time we saw that match was at TakeOver uh, in uh, Orlando. I was there live for that. That was a really, uh, it was a decent match, but I swear that night it was like, man, they can do better than that. I know they can, especially Ember Moon. I mean, I she needs to sort of step up a little bit, and I think she, and she can. I mean, oh God, I've seen her tear up the indies, you know. Um. You know, the TNA thing is a mess right now with GFW, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, more and more news stories about the Hardy gimmick being still tied up. So, and Rebby Hardy keeps sort of confirming it with the text that she sends out all the time. A huge news story was written today about Road Dog responding to WWE fan complaints and blocking users. It's actually the story is about Road Dog blocking users. Um, comments on the hashtag Fire Road Dog. Um, they didn't include any of my tweets or any of you guys, from what I understand. Maybe some of you guys may. I don't, I don't recognize your names, but uh, this guy said, really fighting a losing battle. Why can't Baron Corbin fight a battle fairly? No offense, but it's cheap. <laughs> Road Dog Road, don't understand your tweet. Um, Doctor, this guy, no, S. Outcast, he says, may not always be the best show in the world. We have attitude era syndrome. Thanks for sticking up and understanding. Most are not willing to try to listen, he says. And he just goes back and forth with lovers and haters. Dear haters, I've got two words for you, and they ain't fire road dog, he wrote. Uh, that's three words, isn't it? I don't know. This guy wrote, Road Dog Books One Good Show, pats himself on the back. Damn. Only one good one? I really value your opinion. Blocked. <laughs> I mean, what I don't get is that guy gets blocked from Road Dog, but I never, I never specifically, at, like, attacked Road Dog for anything like that. I never say that Road Dog, oh, you only got one good show, Road Dog. You know, I, I'm usually like in the Road Dog's corner here. Like, he is not the one that I see being the problem. Um, I think he, I think he does act a little bit defensive and stoogy, but I don't think that he's really the problem there. There's so much more that's the problem. If anything. 
I always feel like he's not the problem, but if the problem were to get better, he would be able to shine a little bit more too. So I don't really agree with the attacks on him. If you want to attack somebody, you know, I mean, you know who to attack. <laughs> and it ain't Road Dog. But anyway, he blocked me. Anyway, so I don't know. Guys, if you want to help me out, the support on Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show is greatly valued. And um, yeah, here's Luke. I know Luke Birch. He says, can we all agree Road Dog needs to go? Oh, my God. All these people made the news, by the way. Luke Birch. What's up, Luke? My buddy and over there in England. <laughs> oh, my God. Luke needs to go. And Road Dog wrote, I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm sure you're really good at your job. Blocked. Oh, I, he said Joe. A Joe, like, without job, because that guy doesn't have a job, I guess. Or he was talking about me. I'll try to please you because I blocked. He's just blocking people. Blocking people, blocking people, blocking people. Well, I don't know. Maybe you guys can reach out to him and tell them, tell Road Dog that I love him or something. Say something nice to him about me. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll be okay again. I tried to stick up for him, but yeah, he's getting crushed right now. I mean, he is getting lamb basted. It's kind of coincidental because he actually blocked me before all this. He blocked me during the SmackDown stuff because I was being a smartass. But th this 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 craziness from didn't come until the pay per view happened. So that's the funny thing is I could have been there to to sort of defend his ass, but he. Uh, he blocked me before any of the shitstorm hit. But uh, I don't know, kind of interesting. ESPN has announced that Ric Flair 30 for 30 will come out. That is going to be something wild. November 7th, set your DVRs. I never watch ESPN anymore unless they do a WWE 30 for 30 thing. <laughs> How bad is that for ESPN? You suck, ESPN. Go to hell, ESPN. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I just want to touch on some news real quick. Tomorrow, I'm looking to do another 30-minute podcast, similar to the one I did the other day. I know I said I was going to do that today, but I didn't get it out. And I want to take my time to really you know, go into this thing. And I'm starting to think about working on doing a show where I podcast every day, almost an hour long or 40 minutes or something like that. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to come up with a new name for it. I might call it State of the WWE. Um but I'm not sure yet exactly what is going on. I just keep planning these things. Um, but I think it's going to happen. Although I think me and Jake DeMarco are going to do one anyway. So maybe we'll come up with something else too. What do you guys think about all this shit that's going on? Leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Joe Cronin JCS. And if you care about the show and you want to support it, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Shout out to Z Red Bank who just became a $5 a month patron. Thank you so much, man, for your support. Z, love you, man. Plus, don't forget CorruptedPodcast.com. You can listen to all the episodes of Corrupted. Also, if you're a patron, you get all the episodes free anyway. So, you know, just become a patron, you'll get Corrupted Podcast. Episode 8 is going up. So, And we're about to record Episode 9 Saturday. So, Episode 8, 9 going to go up. Discounted prices on everything. We're going to make it all pretty much low for you this week it's going to be around a dollar 99 or something so get on corruptedpodcast.com and check it out if you haven't heard the, all the episodes or downloaded them all in audio format on corruptedpodcast.com do it up see you in the next video guys uh send me a message on twitter let me know what you think about this news that's going on rick flair you know road dog is road dog right is he wrong what do you think i'll be reading the comments down below and hearting that shit and i'll be reacting to them in the next video so hope you guys uh Drop some good ones and questions on me. Also, we did a Patreon Q&A the other day, which I'm going to post. That was pretty good. And shout out to Asher for being there with me for it. And guys, I got, I'm really going to go this time. Bye.